This is Stacey McKibben with the Master Communicator Podcast, where CEOs, senior leaders, and C-suite executives share their advice. It's six questions in nine minutes because the best leaders know how to share their ideas concisely and quickly. Let's jump right in. Question number one, in a few sentences, tell me who you are and what you do. My name is Maria Roy. I work as a business development director at Waverly Software. It's a software development company with global presence. I make sure our company stays ahead of time in terms of service offerings. I engage new customers and turn them into happy clients who recommend us to their friends and acquaintances. That's amazing. How long have you been doing that? For five years already. Oh, wow. Time flies, huh? Absolutely. And I, and I, love, I love the accent. Tell the audience where you're from right now. I'm from Ukraine. Well, this is, a, this is great because the podcast has taken us all across the globe and we're talking to all different people. So I've been very excited to you know, get an idea to hear what, what other countries think about some of these same philosophies and ideas around leadership and communication. So I'm curious, that leads me into question number two for you, which is what's the best thing about leading people from your perspective? great when I can help people become more confident and excel in their careers and quite often I um, people are very talented but they just don't realize how they can apply their skills to be successful interesting so do you find that um, people are 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 open to working on some of their 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 weaknesses or the opportunities for growth or do you find sometimes that it's difficult to help coach coach individuals uh, I, I just believe that not everyone is lucky to have a mentor in life. And if you are lucky to find someone you respect and admire uh, in like your career, then it's easier to progress. You know, I appreciate that. You know, if you can find somebody that you trust and admire, because sometimes you can't, right? And you have to take away things not to do <laughs> <laughs> instead of take, learning the things to do. So I yeah. can appreciate that. You know, I'm curious, you, you get me thinking there about my third question, which is, I'll often hear from other leaders, business would be great if it weren't for that pesky people part, whether it's, you know, the pesky team or the pesky clients. What do you think about that? Uh, I think that the ability to build a strong team uh, is a talent. And in my opinion, a true leader should be a good psychologist to surround himself with reliable people who are passionate about their work. And in China, for example, if C-level managers change every single year at a company, it's a sign that a founder of a company isn't capable of building long-term relationships with people. You know? Interesting. And again, as we always talk about, you know, leadership starts from the top down, right? So if leadership can't keep their senior leader, then how are we going to keep the rest of the organization? Yeah, case, yeah, I agree. How can you get anywhere when you're constantly turning people over? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if I had a group of leaders sitting here in front of you right now, what piece of advice about communication would you give to them? What would you share? Uh, I would tell them stop giving expected answers. Usually the ones that sound right, but those that do not reveal your opinion. Just give honest answers, even though it may not be easy. So you actually want them to open up the kimono a bit, huh? The proverbial, yes. tell me really what you think, not just the politically correct answer. Yes, I think the world is tired of politically correct answers. Yeah, and it doesn't always actually yeah, mean what you, or it doesn't actually say what you mean. Would you agree with that? I mean, it's yeah. just a, a nice way of saying, you know, it's not you, it's me, <laughs> mm -hmm. or whatever you might be saying. So what other successful business leaders like yourself, Maria? You know, like what other Maria Roys are out there, like carrying the bag, making it happen? You know, who else should we be paying attention to? Who else should be on the show? Uh, I'm happy to recommend Adam Jones, uh, the director of digital products at Freeman & Mare. Uh, he is a very talented manager and a source of inspiration. Plus, he has a fantastic sense of humor. So I'm sure you will enjoy talking to him. That's great. I, I feel like humor is the spice of life. So I always appreciate, you know, learning while enjoying myself. That's always a good combination. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that. All right. Magic question number six. Bring us home. So tell us about your favorite boss or teacher. Who's really influenced you? Oh, I have a nice story to tell you. So I was lucky to be a student of Roxelana Zarifchak, 
a professor at Lviv Ivan Franko National University in Ukraine. And this is so far the only person in my life I've ever been afraid of, seriously. She was extremely demanding and absolutely intolerant to slapdash work. She set a very high bar for quality, punctuality, and extended my perception of human abilities. And, you know, Miranda from The Devil Wears Prada is just a shadow in comparison with my professor. <laughs> but I am really grateful to her for realizing who I am. That's so amazing. And to believing in you that you could, yes. right? You know, I often, I often say people rise to the level we expect but they stop where we tolerate. So if we tolerate mediocrity, then, then that's what we're gonna get. Yes. So amazing. Wow, you've just done such a great job, um, I think, in, you know, in just your short time in business, really collecting and, and, um, and aggregating some great philosophies and some great ideas. You know, it's been such a pleasure having you on the show. I'm curious if somebody wanted to reach out and introduce themselves, how might they go about that? Uh I uh, like. I think that uh, it's pretty easy to find me on LinkedIn or Facebook um, or just by email. That's perfect. So I would be I would be happy to get to know new people and uh, to find new partners or friends. That's perfect. Well, I'm sure somebody will reach out and, and at least say hello and um, introduce themselves. I, I have at least tens of followers out there. <laughs> So I'm in anticipation, you know, already. Exactly. So maybe exactly. I will become a star of the internet after this podcast. <laughs> Guaranteed. Guaranteed, yes. <laughs> but I do know that I am going to have you back on the show because I, my intention is to write another six questions and do another hundred interviews. And so mm -hmm. it, it's been such a delight to have you here that I'll certainly have you back on to hear your insights and ideas for some more. Um, oh, thank you very much. Th thank you very much for having me. It was a pleasure. Of course. And this is Stacey McKibben with the Master Communicator Podcast. For more ideas and insights, please do go check us out at www.conciliateam.com. And we look forward to seeing you again next time. Take care. Bye-bye.